Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jacqueline if you guys are new here and I post all things hauls, beauty, fashion, favorites, stuff like that. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. How is everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing great. I haven't gone for about a month or so and because that last video that I posted the Shein bikini haul that had been in my edits for a while that had been pre-made and pre-edited and I was just waiting to get affiliated with Shein and they never reached out to me so that's fine I just posted the video because I had no other content to post but I'm back <laughs> um, I've been going through a lot of life changes and I'm currently on the hunt for a one bed, one bath apartment of my own. So that has been taking up a lot of my time. Really finding an apartment in today's economy with the standards that I have is so hard <laughs> to say the least. So that has been taking up a lot of my time, but honestly, I'm really excited uh, to start filming again because I feel like I have my shit together when I film consistently. I just feel like I'm in a really good mood and a pretty decent mindset this morning. So I'm really excited to share with you guys this video that I have planned for today, which is an Amazon favorites video. I have a bunch of things written down on my little list. Also, I just did my nails, you guys. These are also from Amazon. <laughs> They're press-ons, but they look so good. Um, I'll have these linked down below. I also mentioned these in my other favorites, but I feel so put together whenever I have nails on, so I just wanted to mention that these are so pretty. Let's start off with the miscellaneous. So, um, tripod for camera slash phone. So if you guys like taking pictures or Instagrams, which I'm sure like all of you have this by now or have one, but this one is specifically like, I don't know, I love this one. It's so easy to compact. Literally it comes like this. It also comes with a little remote control. It comes with a little remote controller. And then this pulls out like this. It should be changed horizontally or vertically, whatever way you like it. And this thing extends, you guys, like so far. Oops. So far. You have to push down here. I have nails on, so it's like harder. But you push, and then this comes out and just sits. This one is really good for like if you do reels or TikToks or whatever. This I think was like 20 or $22. I'm not really sure. But it's very compactable. It's really good for traveling as well. Like this will fit easily in your suitcase or your bag. Yeah, this is one of them. And then the tripod that I'm using now for my camera. If you guys are getting into YouTube or you just want to have like a good tripod for your phone maybe you like take pictures and stuff like that this tripod is awesome this was like $15 I think for the tripod it is an Amazon basics and it's really not like the best quality but I've had this for over a year now and it works perfectly fine for me I will show you guys a clip of it definitely would recommend the tripod if you guys are getting started with YouTube so going on with the whole like YouTube thing if you guys are looking to start a YouTube channel and you guys want a good quality camera, the one that I'm using now is actually a Canon EOS M50. And I did so much research, you guys. But when I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be able to see myself. So this camera actually has a flip camera so that you can see yourself, see if you're focused, all of that stuff. I think it was around $800. So it's definitely an investment. However, it was a very good investment. I made my money back super easy and I literally get brand deals a lot like for how small of a following that I have right now I don't know if it has anything to do with the camera quality but I feel like it definitely has something to do with that every brand wants their person who's going to be advertising for them to have good quality content and I feel like this camera has suited me so well I've had no problems with it since I got it it's been almost a year haven't dropped it haven't scratched the screen which honestly knock on wood you know it was a little bit of investment like I said but totally worth your money and also like I said I ordered this one on Amazon and it came with a microphone I feel like I've had like no problem I like I haven't actually had any problems with it I've had a call into Canon a few times because there were some questionable things that I didn't know I'm 
not a technology person at all. 10 out of 10 would recommend, and if you guys are starting a YouTube channel and you do wanna be able to see yourself with good quality and a camera that's gonna last you, the Canon. Okay, so next up is this little mini portable charger for your iPhone. Um, just opens like that. And you have your little charger. I got mine in white and you just basically charge it with a USB right there. It comes with a charger, obviously. This is really good if you're a content creator as well or like you like making reels and stuff and your phone is always dying. Or it says iWalk, so it gives me the impression that they want like girls to take this out when you're like walking. If your phone's like not all the way charged but you still wanna go on a walk, maybe it's like getting dark, it's later than you would normally walk but you still wanna get your steps in and your phone's about to die. So, I don't know. And I got the white one so it matches. This is just really nice and you can put this like in your little workout shorts if you're running or throw this in your purse if you're running errands and you need your phone to be charging. But I got this makeup mirror and it just opens up like this. Oh look, you can see my camera in here. <laughs> um, but this is so cool you guys. The light, there's three different settings. Are you kidding me? I love it. It just has a clasp at the bottom. And this is just so simple. You can also just hold it up like this. Really great for when you're traveling. Or you can also, if you have a purse big enough, you could just throw this in your purse. I don't know. This is definitely going to be a travel essential for me because I always hate when I'm traveling and I can't bring my makeup mirror. But this is a portable one and it also has a charger port on the back. So it's perfect. Also going along with the whole traveling thing. I got this little cute jewelry organizer box and I'll open it up. This is so perfect, you guys. I was using this super dingy like thing that I got back when I was probably like 12 or something. I've had it for forever. This is so pretty and this is just, I mean, I love the color for suave cream and then the inside, you have slots for your necklaces, you have slots for your necklaces up here, uh, rings, earrings, whatever you wanna put in there. And this was like $10, I'm pretty sure. The zipper, like no issues with the zipper, which I always seem to find cheap things like this. The zipper quality isn't good, but this one works perfectly fine. So if you travel a lot, this is so perfect for you. Okay, so this isn't really for traveling, but you guys, this is so awesome. So they are portable fans. Awesome because it comes with two. So I got the pink and the black one. The reason I bought these, so we were actually on the golf course, me and my boyfriend and a friend of mine and her boyfriend were on the golf course the other weekend and it was so hot. She had this little mini fan. She's like, you have to get these. You guys, these are amazing. First off, like, Are you kidding me? It has three settings. These are so powerful. Like you just saw my hair blow. I love these. I actually want to keep one of these in my bathroom for when I'm doing skincare. And then also when you're doing your makeup, if you're spraying your setting spray and you just want to quickly fan off, you can do that. Or if you're on the golf course like we were and you're getting hot and you just need a quick cool off, these are amazing. They're so little, they're so little and portable. Or even like if you guys are at an amusement park like Six Flags, Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, Disney World, whatever, like get yourself these. Right. The next thing I have to show you guys are these no-show socks. These, um, I've worn some of them. So these are from the brand Beering. So these are just no-show socks. Everyone needs some of these. I just got a pair of like Vans that require no-show socks to wear them and I'm always borrowing my boyfriend's. So I just needed some good no-show socks and these are honestly like perfect. They're like exactly what I needed. So I just thought I would share them with you if you guys are looking. I feel like no one really thinks about no-show socks. They come in a three, six, nine pack. Three whites, three grays and then three blacks. And it's just a good deal. I think I paid like $12 for like nine socks. Guys, so let's go ahead and go on to the home favorites. Um, my first home favorite that I have is 
pompous grass. Guys, this, so this is actually a tequila bottle and I put pompous grass in it and now it's a decoration. It is so cute. This pompous grass, I don't know, I love the white color. It's like a white cream. I love the look of pompous grass. I also have some pompous grass in my bathroom that is in a vase that I'll also show you guys. It really just adds character and just makes it kind of like how plants make your house look like very lively and just pretty. You guys have probably seen these everywhere. I feel like everyone has these now, but these are my all time favorite cups. These are glass cups with the lid and the straw. I actually bought the lids separate. These are so cute. I make iced coffee in these, alcoholic drinks like Bloody Marys, like literally, I mean, obviously you can use this for whatever. And then I actually ended up buying these separate, these little lids. They have the seal on them, so it's like, it's not going anywhere. But I think these are perfect if you're like on the go and you make your iced coffee and you wanna take it to go, this lid is perfect because it's not gonna spill all over your car. So this next thing is a satin pillowcase or silk pillowcase, whatever you prefer. They obviously have different colors, but I feel like if you're a girl and you care about your hair and your skin, oh, also skin. With these, they don't make your um, face, like, it's less wrinkles for your skin because it's silky soft, so like when you're laying on your side, if you sleep on your side, it's not gonna pool like a regular pillowcase would. Silk is just, it's great. So um, yeah, if you're not sleeping with a silk pillowcase already, you need to get some, especially if you care about your hair and your skin, but that's just my two cents. This electric lighter. Y'all, if you don't already have one of these, I feel like you should definitely buy one. This was like 10 bucks off Amazon. I've had this for like a year. Literally, it charges right there. I think it takes a Android charger, but look, you just flip the switch and then. I love that sound, okay. But for candles and stuff like that, um, this is great. We love a good moment, so. Yeah, never have to buy a lighter again. And lighters are actually really expensive. The last lighter I bought was like $3.99. This pack of incense. I think incense are just, when I smell them, they put me in like a meditative state. Like when I'm meditating, I like to light incense because I feel very calm and like at peace with myself, you know? You guys, this was such a good deal. I've already used like a lot of them, but this comes with, Six. I have three out right now, but it comes with first rain. That sounds so good. If you guys can read that, y'all can. And then the last one that's in here, um, there are more, they're just out and about around my house, but this one is patchouli. Each pack of these come with 26. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 126, you guys, for, I paid like $6.99 for all of this. Okay. So kind of going along with the whole candle, wick, whatever, I have a wick cutter. And these are kind of one of those things that you don't know you need until you have it. You're supposed to cut your wicks every time after burning, especially if you burn them for a while and they have like that big, just blob of black on there. Um, you're supposed to chop that off. So this is amazing. I really like this and it was only like five bucks. So okay. sorry guys, I had to go get something. But the next thing on my home favorites, this is an all time favorite. I feel like everyone should have this in their home. It's like an essential. This is Grand Canal soap. I've used quite a bit. And this gets out damn near every single stain that I have. The only stain I found that hasn't worked on this is an oil stain. This gets out literally like stains that have been in my clothes for years that I've never been able to get out. I just like run it under some water, take this, run it over. It literally gets it out. It's so crazy. This is only like $10 also and it gets out like every stain. So if you have kids, this is great. Try Grand Canal Soap and thank me later. Okay, so the next thing on my list, which I'm actually going to take my camera and show you guys around, are the acrylic organizers. Everyone needs these acrylic organizers. If you don't want acrylic, you can just get organizers, but having an organized and clean home space really does reflect on your mental state of mind. When things are clean and put away and look nice, 
I feel so much better about myself when there's shit everywhere and I just I can't see where any of my stuff is and I'm always like running around trying to figure out like where everything is it stresses me out and if you don't get the acrylic ones at least get some sort of like drawer organizers to help you be organized also um, I have some organizers underneath my bathroom sinks I have two under each so I have four in total they're so amazing I Got them for like $20 a piece, $20, $25, can't really remember. You can just see everything that you have. Also, the other thing that I'm gonna get up and show you guys is the silver shower organizers. I have a lot of bath products, and at the time, I was just putting them on the sides of my bathtub, and it was so bad. It looked so cluttered and just like disorganized with these silver bath organizers. Just, they do the job and they look really nice too. These are really pretty. I'm gonna link these silver ones down below, but if you're a guy watching this, there's also a black one that I saw that looks really, really cool and very like manly. So I'll link those down below too if you guys are interested. Right, Next thing I'm gonna be getting up and also showing you guys is the bed spread that I have. It's just a white kind of tufted bed spread and it just it looks really nice so i really love our bedspread and like it was a really good deal like 87 dollars for a king size bedspread if you watched my the immune booster shot video you would have seen these but these little clear glass shots they come with a pack of 12 you can also get a pack of 24 but these are great if you like making your own juice or like shots you can add them into here at the store one of these shots are like five dollars so if you're trying to save a little bit of money and make your own shots at home these are perfect for it and they're glass okay and the other thing that i'm going to show you guys the coat hangers and my closet they hang up my scarves in the winter and then in the summer they've been hanging my hats my purses and i think that's it just my hats and purses but they're really convenient and they're really pretty and they just yeah, if you have any like extra wall space, hang them up and boom. Okay, so the next category that we're gonna get into is the desk favorites. And the first favorite that I have is this iPhone stand. Obviously you can move your phone however you want. I use this like when I'm doing my makeup and I'm watching like TikToks, hold it like this or horizontal, however you choose. But this one I got specifically because one, it can move, and then also it has a hole back here so that you can string your charger into it if you're in the bath. I noticed that this is really great for the bathtub too. Um, I will just prop my phone up and watch like a YouTube video while I'm taking a bath. So All right. next thing is this laptop stand. Now I honestly, when I first got this, wasn't too fond of this, but this is actually so nice. It takes up less space than it looks. Move it up and down. And I really do like it because like, I can have my laptop here and paperwork down here and still be able to work. So I really love this. I like that it's portable as well. I have it like this so that you can travel with it or whatever. Um, and then it has these little things on the bottom to make it like grip to your desk. Okay, so this next item that I'm gonna be talking about is really great if you guys own your own online business or you like sell a Mercari or Poshmark or Vinted or any of that. So this is a thermal label printer. This, you don't need to buy ink for it. So this is absolutely perfect for those who are like on a budget. I think this was like $108 or something. Then the paper that comes with it, there's like 15 or 20 sheets of paper that actually come with this, but then you can buy like a pack of 500. I think I paid $15 for this pack of 500 label sheets and you don't have to waste money on taping your labels because this whole side is tape. So it just prints these out. It just uses heat to, to print your labels and you don't have to buy ink cartridges. And this is also super little as opposed to a printer that's like huge and takes up half your desk. It's literally Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone. So if you guys are a small business or you guys sell online like Poshmark, Facebook, Vinted, any of those, this is really good. So the last desk favorite that I have isn't really like a desk favorite, it's more like a laptop favorite, but it is my laptop case. 
I love it. It comes with the front and back. I think I paid $15 for it. It comes with grips on the bottom as well. And yeah, um, I think it also did come with a like keyboard thing, but I hate those things. So I just threw that out. I love the clear. I know it comes in different colors. So I will link, you know, one that has multiple colors down below. But this is super adorable. Um, I just, I love the clear, I love the silver. Now moving into kitchen favorites, you guys. I have quite a few. So the first thing is going to be this whisker. I'm sure um, you've heard of it or seen people use this. This takes double A, or yeah, sorry, double A batteries. And this is just perfect. I've had this for like over a year now. It's I've used it every single day for my coffee. Yeah, there's not much else to say. You can literally whisk anything with this. Next, we have these salt and pepper shakers. I was originally buying salt and pepper shakers from like TJ Maxx, but they're like $5.99 per. And these were, I think, $13 I paid for both of these and the rack. And they are glass and stainless steel. If you buy in bulk of the salt and pepper by themselves, it's way cheaper to do it that way. And it's super easy to refill. You just twist this off and boom. They come with caps as well, which I like. So this next favorite of mine, you guys, is something I feel like a lot of people should have. And it is an air fryer liner. They make your air fryer just stay clean. I used to just put aluminum foil down on the air fryer, but then it's like hard to get your food out of there or you have to pull the aluminum foil out and then the aluminum foil gets really gross and dirty depending on what you're cooking. These are so simple. You just pop these right into the air fryer and they're just a liner and they're silicone so that, so you can easily pick it up out of the air fryer. And also you guys can clean these so easily. I think these are dishwasher safe. If not, you could just easily hand wash them. A veggie peeler is next. I got a pack of two of these. If I make carrot salad, I like to get the big carrots and then just slice them. Or if I'm doing like a sushi roll, I'll do cucumber and slice them with this. If you have sweet potato or potatoes and you're, you don't want the skin on them, peel them. I'm trying to like get more healthy, uh, this will probably be a good utensil to have. So talking about good utensils to have, this lemon squeezer is seriously so amazing. These have little holes that don't get the seeds of lemons or you know whatever you're trying to juice. It doesn't get the seeds in your thing and just makes it so much easier and simple. All right, so this next thing that I'm about to show y'all is Orca Spice Chai. Okay, this is sugar free for starters. This is more like a fall, drink it smells so good it's basically what you do is you heat up some milk and then you pour in a tablespoon or two of this whisk it up and you can drink it just like that when i first got this since it's sugar free i tried it and i was like this is so gross i actually saw another youtuber raving about it and that's why i got it but i was like this is so disgusting what was she talking about and i had it up in my cabinet for like months and then recently I took it down and I was like about to throw it out, but I was like, it's good. It just needs something. And I was like, why not just try to put honey in it? You guys, I put honey in this and it is so good. Like it's sugar free. So obviously the honey is going to add sugar, but this is so, so good. If you guys have not tried this, definitely try it. It says you can add water. I wouldn't. Okay. So this, I feel like I've raved about for forever but it is the collagen peptides vital proteins i'm telling you guys i put this in my coffee every single morning and i'll show you how much i love it literally look this is like near empty as well but i have another one in my pantry this is good for skin hair nails and joint support it is kind of expensive um but around christmas time they had a sale for like they were on sale for half off so 25 dollars Regularly, they are like $50, but you guys, you get what you pay for. And honestly, I don't mind spending a little bit more on vitamins and things that are, are gonna help me physically and like 
you know, just my feeling overall. This is really good. I always see a difference in my skin when I drink it. I also like to put these in smoothies. So, the last thing on my kitchen favorites is my air fryer, which I'm going to be showing you guys in just a second. I pretty much use it for everything. Like, I don't really use the microwave anymore unless it's to like heat up, you know, tea and stuff like that. The air fryer I use when you have leftover food. It doesn't make it soggy. It makes it crisp. If you don't already have an air fryer, you need to get one. So next up is this bath Amazon favorites. It is this bath mat thing. So basically, it has suction cups on the bottom here. You suction these to your back of the bathtub, and then this kind of just like sits up like this so that your head can rest on this and then your back can rest on this. This is literally 25 bucks and worth every single penny. This is just like honestly an essential. If you take baths a lot, I am one of those people that I will take baths in the summer, I'll take baths in the winter, doesn't matter. I love baths. I'll just treating myself, you know? And this is perfect just like if you're having a spa day by yourself. But the next thing that I have for the bath is um, a tray, which I, like I said, don't have to show you guys. It literally just came in, but it is in those box boxes that won't open. But basically I'll post a picture like over here or something. It's one of those trays for the bathtub. My phone stand, I always normally have this there. But with this bath tray, it has, you can have a book right here. You can have your phone standing up right here. A wine glass that has a little area for a wine glass to go into or like any drink. Um, and I forget what else it has in there, but it has like a lot of different sections for different things. And it's literally just a tray that just sits on your bathtub and it's so convenient. So I don't have that to show, unfortunately, but that is definitely going to be a favorite, I already know. I know so many YouTubers that have it and I've been wanting it for years and I finally splurged and bought the one that I wanted. The next one, I also don't have to show you guys, it is Epsom salt though. The Epsom salt that I use is a lavender Epsom salt. And it's in my bathroom right now, I forgot to get it. But it is so relaxing, you guys, if you guys are having a spa day when you put them in your bathtub it just like fills your bathroom with like the aroma of lavender it is so good i also have this dust cleaning gel for your car this is just like a big blob of gel and you just like run it over it and it gets all of the dust out of the nooks and crannies of your car. Like in your vent system, I always get dust in there and this is so easy to get it out or like in between your dashboard and literally it's just perfect. It's kind of a must have. So um, yeah, I keep this in my car. Description or some pictures of what it does. I feel like everyone should. Okay guys, so we are down to the last section, which is books. I was gonna make a whole different video just on books but I thought I would just add these in here. So the first book that I have to show you guys is Atomic Habits. If you guys are trying to like get into a habit, um, this is just really good. This is something I highlighted. It says, making progress is satisfying in visual measures like moving paper clips or hairpins or marbles. Provide clear evidence of your progress. They, enforce, they reinforce your behavior and add a little bit of immediate satisfaction to any activity. Visual measurements comes in many forms, food, journals, workout logs, loyalty punch cards, the progress bar on a software download, even the page numbers in a book. But perhaps the best way to measure progress is with a habit tracker. This is something I feel like every YouTuber has talked about, but this book really did make an impact. But yeah, this book is really great if you are just trying to create good habits, like it says on the front, like create good habits and release the bad ones. And it just kind of gives you tips and tricks and has a lot of scientific information in here as well. I'd probably give like a eight out of 10, not like my favorite book, but definitely a good book if you're trying to create good habits. So the next book I'm gonna talk about is probably my all time favorite book. This is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. You guys, this book, I'm on my second read of this book. I've actually posted this on my Instagram story, like some pages that I've read. Again, I do the highlights in this book as well, but I've posted some just pages that I've reread and people have been asking me like, what book is that? Like that is so good, so true. So I'll try and 
Like here's one, problems never stop, they merely get exchanged and or upgraded. Happiness requires struggle. It grows from problems. Joy doesn't just sprout out of the ground like daisies and rainbows. Real serious lifelong fulfillment and meaning have to be earned through the choosing and managing of our struggles. Whether you suffer from anxiety or loneliness or OCD or a dickhead boss who ruins half of your waking hours every day, the solution lies in the acceptance and active engagement of that negative experience, not the avoidance of it, not the salvation from it. People want an amazing physique, but you don't end up with one unless you legitimately appreciate the pain and physical stress that come with living inside a gym for hour upon hour unless you love calculating and calibrating the food you eat, planning your life out in tiny plate-sized portions. People want to start their own business, but you don't end up a successful entrepreneur unless you find a way to appreciate the risk, the uncertainty, and repeated failures, the insane hours devoted to something that may earn absolutely nothing. You guys, this book is seriously like 11 out of 10. This is one of my all-time favorite books. Oh, so here we go. I'll just read this last sentence. He says, in life, we have a limited amount of fucks to give, so you must choose your fucks wisely. <laughs> That's just a quote from Mark Manson. Yeah, this is, I mean, it literally says it right here, number one international bestseller. If you guys haven't read this, you have to read it, especially if you care about what people think of you or you just feel like you care too much about what other people think of your life. Seriously, read this and it's going to change your perspective on just about everything. All right, so the last thing, the last book of this Amazon favorites video is um, kind of sad that we're ending, but anyways, it is this book called Girl Code. This is unlocking the secrets to success, sanity, and happiness for the female entrepreneur. I know it says female entrepreneur, but I feel like this could also be for men as well. Um, I have highlighted so many things in this book. It basically kind of has a little bit of manifestation talk in it. It's a really short read too. Um, as you can see like in the book, it's just, it's an easy read, it's a short read and she says a lot of good stuff in it. Something dynamic happens when women genuinely show up for each other. We, when we lose the facades, cut the bullshit, and truly have each other's backs. When we stop pretending everything is perfect and show the messy, beautiful parts of ourselves and our work, which all look awfully similar. When we talk about our fears, our missteps, and our breakdowns, and most importantly, when we share our celebrations, our breakthroughs, and our solutions. I'm convinced that there's no reason to hoard information, connections, or insight. Wisdom is meant to be shared. So let's start sharing what we've learned to make each other better. Let's start building each other up. Let's live up to our potential and start ruling the world. <laughs> I love this book, you guys. This is an amazing book. If you guys are a female entrepreneur, even if you're not a female entrepreneur, I still feel like this is a good book. Nothing comes free. That's something I highlighted. Oh, here we go, listen to this. But as I got older, wiser, and more successful, I promised myself I would never fall into the trap of waiting for a man to buy me something I wanted. I also vowed I would redo my Chanel experience and buy myself a brand new Chanel purse with my own hard earned money. I would step into the power and recreate that experience the way it should and have happened in the first place. In, in the first place. So basically she goes and buys her Chanel and she's like, I soaked in the moment thinking to myself, I did it, I'm here in Chanel buying my own bag that I earned myself by working my ass off. I didn't hesitate or stress over whether or not I could afford it. I didn't have to wait for someone to tell me I could have it. The bag was going to be mine on my own terms. You guys, this is such a girl boss book. I mean, I know I said it's for everybody, but this just, it really hits home for me. And there were times in it where I was just kind of like, okay, like get to the point, like this is boring me. But overall, I would give this probably a eight out of 10. Okay, you guys, so we made it through the video. Thank you guys so much for staying till the end and watching this Amazon favorites video of mine. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below and shop through my links you guys because
I put a lot of effort into filming and making these videos, posting all the links, finding all the links, generating all the links. It does really help me out when you guys shop through the links. If not, I understand. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a like down below. Obviously subscribe and I have a few more hauls coming up. I also have a Timu haul on the way, so that's gonna be a super fun video. I've never shopped at Timu, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, a lot of big things coming up. I hope you guys stay along for the journey and I hope you guys have a beautiful day and stay blessed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!